Next to 10 after a devastating downtown fire, Portage city leaders are looking for new development to resemble the old. The night team's Theo Keith was there the night of the fire, and he has continuing coverage of what's next. Theo? Eric, the city's moving on, still not knowing why that building burned. Unfortunately, downtown's been through this before. 18 years ago and right across the street from this fire, the same thing happened. They rebuilt then and say it's time to do that again. Well, it's such a visible part of the community. And People in Portage sure remember the night of the fire. The hours-long fight to put it out seemed to go on forever. And with it, a dress shop owner's dream seemingly destroyed. Months later, all that's left is a dark hole where the building used to be. Most of downtown structures have been there a century. A 119-year-old one is lost, but the new could look like the old. Believe it or not, it's part of the historical district. So we're working with the State Historical Society, and one of the things that has been talked about is uh, putting up a replica of that building. Portage Mayor Ken Yan says his goal is getting the lot designated as a blighted area. It, it actually helps us with getting grants and, and things like that to clean up the corner to get it uh, uh, ready to be sold and redeveloped. Meanwhile, the woman who ran that dress shop has decided to reopen in Montello. She couldn't meet with us tonight, but says it's taken a lot of work to get back. She'll be back in business November 1st, another new beginning after the fire. And back in Portage, the city's fire chief says he still doesn't have a cause for that fire. It started upstairs, but the only one there at the time, a teenage boy, doesn't know how it started. The fire chief says he's gotten not one tip since asking for some months ago.